welcome to Coach Dave Academy. This is Suelo Almeida. We're going to see my lap with the Porsche Cup at Red Bull Ring. We're going to see the entire lap and then we're going to talk about corner by corner. All right, so Red Bull Ring, going into the first corner, note that the braking performance that you can extract from the car here is pretty amazing because we're going up, we're on a compression. So you're gonna see me braking pretty hard initially, pretty much like 90%, and then of course releasing a little bit as we get uh, into the turning point. And then when we turn in, a, a quicker release of course, and then really aiming to get on this little yellow curb on the inside and smashing the power, not smashing, but getting back on power quite aggressively, still careful because the exit is a crest, as soon as you hit the curb, so you lift the front a little bit and minimize the impact against the curb so it keeps the car turning in a stable way. And then you get back on power, light hands, allow the car to actually have the left tires on the red, just make sure you don't have more than 50% on the red because that gives you an off track. And then here, you don't have to come back right after it. You can actually go back very slowly uh, and pretty much wait until the yellow is back. As you can see, I actually crossed back a little bit, but I was pretty much on a straight line. So you don't have to come here and then right immediately after turn to the right and try to run away from the yellow curb because you will actually just like cross it back in an unstable way. It's not going to be efficient. You don't have to. You can just go straight after it. Then we go into the next corner. Pretty similar thing, it's just a slower speed, but we're gonna break pretty hard again. Same thing, compression, we're kind of going up a little bit. Uh, and then we want to turn in quite late to have the best exit we can. Same thing, you cross the yellow, you stay there until the yellow is over and then you come back from it. Then for the next corner, this is the opposite now. As you can see from here, we, can, we can't really see the corner because the, there's a crest. We're breaking downhill, but then right before we start turning, we go more downhill which means we are on a crest, we have absolutely, well, not absolutely, but we have way less grip. So here you will see me breaking much less, and I was breaking 90% on the first and second corners, here I'm breaking 75, 80%, and then not more than that, really waiting for the car to stop patiently because we're going downhill. Then I'm aiming for the green that is beside the access road here. As you can see, we can green, we have green grass, then green and access road and then green and the grass again. So basically you want to go on top of the green that is beside the access road. That's your apex, that's, your, that's where you want to get back on power. You want to use that green part to pull the car and give you a better exit. You get back on power, light hands and allow the car to go almost to the gravel. Of course, this is a very dangerous exit so you have to practice very well to go to the green without going all the way to the gravel. And then you kind of stay there and come back slowly into the, into the four last fast corners. So here, just a little cross on the grass here to make sure we position the car as best as we can. Middle of the car on top of the green gives you an off track. So make sure you don't do that. This is pretty much, there is a little bit of room still here, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't crossing way too much. And then very patient. This is also downhill uh, and kind of a little crest. So you have to patiently try to get a 
late exit, get back on the power and go with the left tires on the curb here. We will not got you will not get an off track. You will actually get an off track if you touch the gravel. So if you touch the gravel, that's an off track for you. And then you stay there. Don't come back. This is still not an off track. You stay here. You stay here. When the green is over, you break quite well, not hard. You're pretty much already into the trail braking pressure, let's say. And then downshift your third and make the car rotate so you can try to use this little green here. If you put the car on the green, it gives you so much rotation that you actually have to be careful with it because it may actually spin the car. So, but it is faster. It is faster to use the green and be very careful with the extra rotation that you get. And then here, same thing. Just don't touch the gravel. You will not get enough track. And then you stay there pretty much. Little touch on the grass there. And then on the way back, we little touch on the grass here. Same thing, just to, you know, position the car better. And then braking not too hard. It's downhill, a little crest. Fourth gear, aim to hit this curb and then power when you hit the curb. And then go all the way to the outside. This is crazy here. Look at how much you can use on this corner, on this exit, actually. So you can actually put 49% of the car on the red without getting enough track. You only get enough track when the center line of the car is touching the red, is on top of the red. So, And then you stay there. You stay there. You stay there. You start braking and you start turning in when the red is over. But you don't come back because you want to benefit from the exit from the corner before. But you stay here so you can benefit from the entry as well. So you benefit from there, you aim to the yellow here, make sure you don't use way too much because that will give you an off track. And then back on power and just make sure you slightly touch the, the red here. If you if you put a full tire on the red, that's an off track. So make sure you just, your, your tire is like half on the green, half on the red. That's perfect. There you go. And also on the way back, it's totally fine to barely just touch the grass here just to make sure you don't, you're not like forcing the car way too much back to the track after the corner. You stay there and you come back very gently. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next week. Bye bye.